the film initially started with a uh, meeting with uh, scholars from the University of Trondheim, NTNU. And we seemed to be touching on similar topics, which was microscopic imagery. I've always looked at those images and their strong phosphoric colors and, and you know, their, their intensity and the fact that we're peering into something you know, we may have never seen before. Uh, they approached me, Meretta uh, and Anya. They, they actually were talking about the idea of the film. So it was called Inside Out. It is still, as a project, it's called Inside Out, about inside the body. So basically we teamed up and it was a, um, I would say, um, collaboration because it's interdisciplinary uh, uh, disciplines. So I'm approaching it from a filmmaker. They're approaching it from a dramatic, uh, you know, the academic uh, side. And then we managed to actually interview quite a lot of people. We gathered a lot of collections and we managed to make a very, uh, I think, uh, a film that created debate at least. And the name came out later because it was the structure of the film, the good, the true, and the beautiful. Is uh, we we had beauty as the an antagonist, so we were, um, you know, it's suspicious. Beauty is suspicious in science, and so that's where it became a very exciting project for all of us. Okay, I mean, if we if we go into inside the body, when you see these images, you really have an ego boost that, you know, we look so beautiful on the inside. And that's actually not entirely true. You know, because everything is mishmashed, everything is on top of each other. There's no, you know, isolating these cells alone and, and making them glow and then having, you know, beautiful uh, structured images uh, that, that are so pleasing for the eye. I, we call it eye candy in the end. I mean, it's just something you just want to watch and you lose yourself and you think, oh, that's me on the inside. But it's, okay, so part of it is probably true. But at the same time, I think beauty becomes, beauty can distract you. And I think that's why science probably, or factual things, that if it's beautiful, then it looks staged. It, it's, it's too good to be true. I would say that's the term that we use, because if anything looks so beautiful, then we are not probably judging it uh, by, by reality. Suddenly we are biased because it looks beautiful and therefore you start questioning it and uh, but at the same time we're people i think we we just love beauty i mean beauty is something that appeals to us or else we wouldn't be captivated by it intoxicated that's the right term <laughs> yeah